today in the hot seat we do have a couple of FIFA content creators. It is Alia and uh, Leah Ravel. How are you both doing? Good, how are you? Relatively decent now. It's not uh, ridiculously warm. It's uh, a nice 21 degrees at the minute, so uh, a lot better than what it was the last couple of days anyway. Very mild. The skin must have been melting off of your bodies. That's nuts. Well, I kind of I kind of basically just slept through the day and worked through the night. Well, it was still quite warm, it was still like 30 degrees, but at least it wasn't like 40 in the days anyway. Yeah, I went and got a fan because it was way too hot, I couldn't sleep. Oh my gosh, you didn't have a fan? No. I've got oh no my. windows in my room either. <gasps> it must have been so hot. Literally oh sauna. Very hot. Uh, we are on to uh, footies now, so uh, a new promo. How how you both enjoyed it at the minute? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I must say, <laughs> for what so, <good> reason? <laughs> we need to make a disclaimer that Ali and I have both been traveling a lot mm. in the last couple of weeks, and so I think it's safe to say that our footies knowledge is perhaps zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Shall we get some questions then? Let's do it. Okay, 15 questions, 3 lifelines possible, 100,000 FIFA points, best of luck, let's play. Who wants to be a FIFA millionaire? Question 1. To 100 FIFA points, which of the following creators went to the EA headquarters? Is it Alia, Lou Pingu, Capcom Tom, or Lee Ravel? Lee Ravel! <laughs> it's me! I did that! <laughs> oh, I appreciate you, Luke. Thank you for giving us these kinds of questions <laughs> easy question you look so pretty by the way this is like off topic you look so pretty in your photos like that sunset photo i was scrolling through it i looked at my feet and i was like jesus i was like Leah looks so pretty <laughs> thanks did you, did you have a good time in uh, vancouver it was really nice it was actually my first mm -hmm. time in vancouver um so mm -hmm. i'm a fraud canadian yeah. But it's really yeah, expensive. <laughs> it's really expensive. It's crazy because I was saying to the guys there that it's like you can find a flight from Canada to like Dublin or London or like Frankfurt for like eight hundred and fifty dollars round trip Canadian. But to fly to Vancouver, sometimes it's like twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars round trip. So it's like nuts. It's super expensive. But yeah, it seems, was really seems nice. a bit weird. Yeah, but... weird, no? Surely it'd be on distance, not on you know, I don't know why. Yeah. But very nice. I enjoyed it. Anything you can reveal about it, or is it all, all hidden? Most of it's hidden, but you guys, mm. if you're watching this video now, you'll likely have seen the trailer already. Um, so, mm -hmm. a bunch of new features. Other new features, but there's a lot more that we got to see that you guys will find out soon. Yeah, Lee Ravel is the uh, correct answer to all of them. <laughs> I should hope so. Imagine I was like, it was Alia. <laughs> Which of the following FIFA creators are representing England at the Commonwealth Games? Is it Danny Aarons, Bateson, Pieface, or Alia? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are going to get like 24,000 FIFA points if these are the questions the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> it's just you two each question. <laughs> Facts about Alia and Leah. <laughs> um, yeah, you did mention just before. I think yeah, just before recording that uh, it is on uh, Pez and mm -hmm. people on Twitter a little bit, but uh, you know to represent England is uh, a great thing. So that'll be uh, that'll be a good thing to look forward to. It's not long now. Is nah, it? it's a couple weeks away now, which is like mental because mm -hmm. I've known scenes since March. But it's still like crazy to think that I'll be going to the Commonwealth Games for England. Yeah. I just Congrats! Think, Thank you. I just need to hope I win. Get that gold. Yeah, like you just said. I fingers crossed I can win. <laughs> you can come on the next billionaire. You're like, which which uh, person with a gold medal <laughs> at the Commonwealth Games? Me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is the correct answer. Well done. Question number three is for 300 FIFA points. Which of the following footballers are on the cover of FIFA 23? Is it Sam Kerr, Ellen White, Christine Sinclair, or Ada Hegerberg? I wish it were Christine Sinclair, but it is Sam Kerr, and I love that equally as much. And that is the correct answer. Yeah. I didn't answer. I didn't consult you as my teammate. No. Just, yeah, we gonna... trust <laughs> each other. It's fine. We trust each other. <laughs> It's, These early ones, you don't need to. It's just mad though to see like a female on the cover when it's always been mm -hmm. like males for like the last mm -hmm. 20 yeah. odd years or however long it's been. 
And in before, yeah. all the comments are like, Alex Morgan was on the cover in 2016. <laughs> she was on the US cover. Sam Kerr is on the global cover, so. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think that year, I've been caught out that year for saying that somebody was on the cover of the game, but it was actually just the local, like, UK yes. edition of the game. Yeah. Yeah, that, that year. 16 is the one that I just really don't like. <laughs> just of the, uh, multiple different covers for every different region. Yeah, Christine Sinclair um, was in the Canadian region as well. But yeah, you can, there's, uh, what's it, female career mode now as well, so you can pick a team. And yeah! Actually develop the players and stuff, so that'll be, you know. Very good. Huge, huge steps. It's crazy because, mm -hmm. like, there are probably so many, I mean, like, even in the last two years, I'm going on a tangent, but there's been so many new female FIFA creators, and I feel like now that, mm -hmm. you know, they're playing a game with people that look like them, even, like, younger yeah. girls that are coming up and, like, wanting to play a video game, it's a lot more approachable for, like, you know, a 12-year-old girl to see a game and be like, oh, like, you know, I can play as someone whom I look like, or, like, aspire to be you know what i mean like when you were yeah. when you were like you know 10 and you see these players in the game or in real life you're probably like oh i want to be a footballer when i grow up you know and now like it's more anyway you get what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when, I, when i was starting there was literally just fangs that was doing yeah. fifa yeah um, as a creator but now there's loads loads question number four is for 500 beef points which of the following symbols feature on the new footies cards is it a football a football boot a crown or a sword <laughs> i think it's a crown i think but it might be a football I'm trying to think now <laughs> i saw mom's card earlier how did i you know you don't like notice these like little details when you're looking no, they are they are little uh -uh. it's just above the rating <sighs> Very small little feature. Oh my gosh. The standard cards, like the golds and the silvers, they don't have a design on them, do they? Like they don't have no. a symbol. No. Okay, let's break down by promo. Pots. Okay, wait. Oh wait. No, no. Go ahead. What are you like, saying? By promo, like, were there different symbols on like Team of the Year and Tots and all that, or were they not? I think it depends. But wait, when is it above the rating or is it in the middle at the top of the card? I believe it's above the rating. Yeah, so the only one that I've seen above the rating is a star, and that's for uh, featured team of the weeks. And so the other ones, Alia, that I think that we might be thinking of is the one that, you know, the live cards that have like the symbol in the middle mm -hmm. at the top? Yeah. I think it's a crown. I think it's a cr What were the options? A football, a football boot, a crown, or a sword. I f okay, I don't think it's a sword. I don't think it's a boot. I, I feel like I I've see seen a boot, boot on some other cart design. Probably. I think I feel like it's a crown. Do you want to lock that in? No, I don't know. Because <laughs> if we lose But it could it. be a football. Mm. Oh my gosh, what are we at? 400? <laughs> that would be abysmal. Will that be the lowest one you've ever had? <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah, it actually would. Uh, because the only, the only ones that haven't got zero is the, when they've got the question six wrong and then drop back down to zero. Oh, oh my so, gosh. No pressure. This is yeah, the issue literally. when we're not like, it's not like we're not intentionally playing the tiny. game. It's like mm. if we played it and we were actually packing the cards, I feel like we would know. Even then, even then, I'm not. I sure. think it's only on SVCs and objectives. This like little symbol as well. I think you can't actually pack the footies. This is. I think it's a crown. I think it's a crown. My gut is telling me crown. You're gonna see this symbol now from now on. I know. I'm never gonna miss it. What do you think, <laughs> Alia? I mean, I feel like I can't even like guess anything else. I feel like I just have to trust you on this one because I feel like oh my god like no pressure you but you in? I feel like you saw a card earlier so like you would actually have the most like recent memory of what the a card looks like for footies whereas I like I just haven't really played that much let's do oh sorry I can't swear um, <laughs> Beep. um sorry <laughs> fudge it let's do uh let's do crown wasn't a football or a football boot. Ah, yes, it's crowd. <laughs> and you don't. Yes, it's good memory. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it's a t tiny little thing because it's basically the footies winners, and you know, winners have crowns. I guess that's the funny thing is that Fall Guys is quite popular at the minute, and everyone's like, oh, they must have got a crown on Fall Guys, and that's why they <laughs> got the crown on the card. Um, okay, few, few, few not few. at zero yet. <laughs> is but I think I think what that means is that any player in that league gets a strong link to them. I think. I could be wrong. Yes, I've heard this also. Yeah, like the, yeah. the chemistry yeah. works a bit differently for footies, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of nice, because I think they're going to change it for FIFA 23. Don't, don't reveal anything that you can't <laughs> Yeah, I'm like <laughs> thinking over my head. You can maybe cut this part out. I'm thinking like, did I say mm -hmm. anything that I shouldn't have said? Question number five is for 750 FIFA points. How many goals did the England's women team score in the Euro 22 group ah. stage? Is it 10? 12, 14, I will stay. I will stay. I have to know this. Brighton, yeah, Bra know Brighton this. game against Norway, eight nil. Game against Northern Ireland was five nil. So that's thirteen. 13. What was what were the um, options again, Luke? 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm pretty sure our opening game at Old Trafford it wasn't a one nil. I think it was it was a draw, wasn't it? No, no it was, was one nil. Was it, it was one yeah, nil. That's the only game I didn't go to. I went to the other two. Yeah, it was one nil. Um, who did they play in the opening game? Austria. Yeah. Yes, one nil. One nil Austria. Eight nil Norway. Five nil Northern Ireland. So that's fourteen. Right. And so there were only three games. Yeah, three games, and then quarterfinals tonight. Yeah. Don't know. So in Brighton. So we need to get through this quickly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 14 is the <sighs> correct answer. Well done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Travelling coming in handy. The, uh, group stage. See how they do against Spain. Fingers tonight. crossed. Oh, is that who they're playing right now? Yeah, in Brighton. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. That would be a great one to watch. Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed 1,000. Antonio Rudiger signed for Real Madrid <laughs> on a free. But which Serie A side did he previously play for? Is it AC Milan, Inter Milan, Lazio, or Roma? Oh my god. Pre Chelsea. The team the team before Chelsea. Oh, oh no. Remember? I feel like it's Serie A, it's like it could be any of them. I just remember like Rudiger just being like so impactful at Chelsea, it's just I don't even remember who he came from, like before Chelsea. I feel like I should know. I'm a Chelsea fan, but I don't know. Inter, AC, Lazio, or Roma? Roma. I don't think it's my Roma. My initial thing, my initial instinct is Milan. Mm -hmm. But which one? AC Milan. <laughs> but part of me thinks Roma. I don't see Rudiger playing for Inter Milan. I just don't picture it in my mind. I also don't know if I... I could see him play playing for Lazio, but I don't think so. Do you want three lifelines? I feel like to get picked up by Chelsea, though, it had to be either Roma or AC... No, no not AC Milan. Was it AC Milan, the other one? Yeah, AC Inter, Lazio and Roma. Yeah, I don't think he played for Inter. <laughs> or maybe he did. did There'll be three lifelines. You need the help. Oh, this should be one that I know. Okay. So we've got phone a friend, we've got Twitter, and then we've got the 50-50. Yeah. Do we phone a friend? Because yeah, 50-50, if it ends up being like Milan or Roma. I think we use 50-50 when we have it narrowed down to like two or yeah. three. Yeah, okay. We'll phone a friend. But it could be any. It's not really, yeah. I don't think it's Lazio, but it could be... Any of the other three. I feel like it could be Roma. Roma or AC Milan are my guesses, and it's probably Inter Milan because I'm thinking it's Roma or AC Milan. <laughs> but yeah, let's phone a friend, I think. There we go. Here's the question, Tom, for a thousand FIFA points. <laughs> Don't judge us. So, no pressure. <laughs> a thousand? Okay, Don't well, judge yeah, us! Yeah. You should have saved me for a later question. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> Well, we would have lost out, to be fair, if unless we guessed the right answer, but if we didn't mm. have your help, yeah. so... It's better safe okay. than sorry. Okay, yeah, better safe than sorry, that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> Antonio Rudiger signed for Real Madrid on a free, but which Serie A team did he previously play for? Oh, Is it God. AC Milan, Inter Milan, Lazio or Roma? 
I immediately thought Lazio. That was my first thought. It's before you even started listing them off, I'm pretty sure it's Lazio. I'm not 100% sure though. That's actually got pretty Google hard. Google Tom. You I see? Leah Le- Le- Le removed that one. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, is he allowed what? to Google? Technically not. Technically not. Sure. I gotta say, let me just try <laughs> and work it out before I Google. I will Google if I have to. Um, so, re- run me through the teams again. AC Inter, Both the Milan's, Lazio. Lazio and Roma. Oh, hang on a sec. Was it Roma? Roma. I was my my gut tells me it's AC Milan or Roma, not Lazio or Inter. I'm trying to remember the card, I can see it in my head. <laughs> I remember using it. It was a blooming nightmare. It was really, really good. Really annoying. You went into everyone's teams as well. Um, was it Roma? Or was it Lazio? Let me think. That Lazio badge, actually, I don't think it is Lazio because I just can't see that badge next to him. And I can't... I don't think it was AC Milan or... It's definitely AC or Inter. I'm almost certain it's Roma. I'm almost certain, but... I mean, I have made mistakes in the past in this <laughs> oh, series, so... no! He did start his sentence by saying, I'm really good at you this. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I mean, this is more this is more real football than anything. But to be fair, I should know that because I do remember I do remember the card, and it was really good. So I should remember it. I'm I'm like now now I'm thinking it's not Lazio. I'm like ninety percent sure that it is Roma. Um, it just sort of like fits the like the his face fits with the badge. Yes, uh, I know what you mean. Okay, ninety percent is a good. That's a good percentage for me. I'm confident. If it turns out to be Lazio, I'll be so disappointed in <laughs> myself. <laughs> Alia, in Roma. thoughts? I mean, I personally think that Luke can't see you, so you might as well Google it. <laughs> Just to, like, oh, make sure. Luke. Is it against the rules, Luke? Or do we risk it for content? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, if we lose out on this one, it's, like, off mine and Leah's back. It'll be on Tom's back. <laughs> nah, don't worry, I googled it. We're all good. I, I, I am right, it's Roma. Okay. Never, never doubt that you talk. <laughs> Me and my googling prowess, you could have literally got any phone a friend you wanted. <laughs> and that is the correct answer, well done. Um, yeah, you obviously had those really good cards at Roma. Um, I can't remember who did it. Somebody did a Rota Roma on that year, I'm sure. I can't remember who. It wasn't, it wasn't me. No, I, 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 thought, I, it was. I don't know what, yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know. I don't think it was because uh, like Roger Nine Golan had his uh, all ninety card. Totti had a ridiculously oh, yeah. good card that year. Salah Sal- Sal- was there. He that was year there. Well. Yeah, yeah, look at yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, that was the year they had Manolas. Yeah, this team was stacked. Yeah. Look at that. That was, end yeah. of era De Rossi stuff like mm-hmm. that. Uh, cool. Well, well done, Tom. Tom, thank, thank you so you, much Tom. for your knowledge. You're welcome. I'll go back to editing <laughs> my video now. Hopefully, you have a fantastic run and you win all the FIFA points. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Bye. 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 Here is your next question for 2,000 FIFA points. Which of the following kit numbers has Jal Cancelo been given for the upcoming season? Is it 7, 8, 9 or 10? 7! It is 7. I was getting scared there because I had no idea. <laughs> it's 7. Um, but also, that's kind of <laughs> weird, but say, like, yeah. kind of makes sense, but kind of weird, no? For like a defender? Yeah. Yeah, seven's like an strange. attacking number. Yeah, that's normally like your number seven is like your striker typically, or like your. Well, it, I mean, Sterling was. It seven. was Sterling's number. Yeah. So weird. 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 It is. It is the correct answer. Well done. Um, not a not a fan of it myself personally. Yeah, weird you know, one. I'm, a, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to kit yes, numbers. Yes, agreed. It should be number three, number thirty-three, if not. I suppose yes. he does attack. Wasn't well. he? You know, what was he? Twenty-three? Like no, he was twenty-six, right? Yeah, yeah, in the twenties, which I don't mind as well. That's that's a good defender number. But to give him number seven, it's just a bit that's like weird. you think they'd kind of give it to uh, what's his face, the new lad. Holland. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, uh, what's his face? Um, Alvarez. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I was I was thinking of like you know South South American names and I just couldn't <laughs> think of Alvarez. Uh, but wait, so Grealish is not t- ten anymore then, probably, or is Holland eleven? Grealish is ten. Holland's, 11. Holland's nine. Oh, Holland's nine. Who's eleven? Well, it was it was Zinchenko, but he's left now as well. Oh, that's so. another weird one—a left back that's yeah. eleven. Weird. Yeah, but the thing is, is Zinchenko though. He could 
literally play anywhere. Isn't anywhere that kind of like Cancelo just, though? Yeah. But correct me if I'm wrong. Cancelo attacks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the way can yeah. To be fair, yeah. he can play really anywhere. He's super versatile. They do what they want at City. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the fee in euros that Ajax paid for Steven Bergwijn? Is it 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, or 40 million? I mean, Frank! Sorry. Um, sh- no pressure, Leah. Suppose. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like, I feel oh. like 40. For whatever reason, I'm thinking. But that feels. Is that too high for him? Listen, I think. He was very good, and he should have played more at Spurs. And I think mm. that I really, really rated him. But I think ten million is like disrespectful. Mm-hmm. But I also could. What was it? Ten, twelve? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. I agree. I think forty, thirty, or forty make the most mm. sense. But I feel like that's obvious, and I feel like this question. He's trying to trick us. Just, just a memory one, whether you've seen the uh, number Has Leah not. been to, Spur- to Madrid recently? Has she forgotten about Spurs a little bit? <laughs> oh, but that transfer happened so long ago, I feel. It was it was a good couple of weeks yeah. ago. Man. I don't know why I have 40 in my head. I agree. Because he was that oh good. God. Spurs didn't really use him. So they sell them off for 40. But would Ajax pay that much? That's the thing, would Ajax pay that much? I feel like tw- 20. Fills. You have two lifelines. Mm. Oh, I don't know if the lifelines would help me. Yeah, I feel like it's one of them that's like... Oh, I- well, like, one of the lifelines, the other lifeline would help me. But 50-50 wouldn't help me. Anyway. I feel like 40 sounds mad, but I don't know. I just have that number in my head. Like, I feel like I saw something that said we, they sold them for 40. But that seems like a lot. It is. When you think about who else has been... Well... It's about the same as... Uh, Holland. Holland was like 47. That's true. I feel like 10's too low, 40's too high. So it's 20, yeah. 20. Or 13. (laughs) Or 30. What do we do? Oh. I feel like, yeah, I feel like mm, our best bet is Twitter, but then people, like, Twitter might be hard, like, because they could troll. But then 50 50, it's like if they leave us with 20 and 30. If you get. 10 and whatever yeah it's just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's just the number it's like 10 20 30 40 like it's not like 12 or 16 or 23 well technically it was it was like let's say it was 10 it was it basically it was 11.25 but instead of just gone to 10 just to make it simple for you but it was like a 1.25 on so top of each of these none things, of the answers are right sense. <laughs> Technically, but I thought, I thought I'd simplify it for you just to make it more. Because uh, if it was like, you know, 21.25, it's a bit a bit fiddly. I like rounded numbers. Okay, I yeah. suppose it should have been more uh, negotiable. Let's do 50 50, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. So they have done the 50 50, and the two remaining answers are 30 million and 40 million. I f- See the thing is right. We think it's forty, but I feel like it's gonna be one of them that's gonna wait in Europe. How much is that in pounds? Well, I'd be a bit more. Because I feel like I think in pounds. I can't what's, the, what's the exchange rate? <laughs> that didn't help at all. No. Did it? <laughs> Thirty um, or forty? I think it'd be a bit less in pounds. If it was thirty, it'd be twenty-five million pounds. Oh man. And if it's 40, it's 34. I feel like... I feel like... I don't know if Ajax would pay 40... Like, if Holland was close to 40 mil, I don't know if Ajax would pay 40 mil. I can't see that happening. Not for Bergwijn. Mm. Although I would love that, because I think he deserves How it. much did Chelsea yeah. pay for pay for Sterling? Just to provide, like, context. 45. 45. And yeah, and Sterling played regularly. 
for the city. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. 30. It's like the safe, more realistic answer. If it's 40, Locking I it in. Yeah, let's do 30. But if it's 40, I can wait forever. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never coming back. <laughs> was it 10 or 20 million? Because they weren't in the 50 50. And you don't have the correct answer. Oh my 30, god. 31. 31.25 is the correct uh, <laughs> figure, but uh, it's, it's like, I see why he's got that, I don't know. It's a bit of a funny one because they paid like 22 for him, so they've mm. actually made money uh, by essentially just keeping him on the bench, which is, you know, a little bit. Um, I feel like we could have just yeah, done that, like that, asked about a bunch of players that just transferred and then guess off that. It's true. Yeah, you just get your, get your understanding mm. of the market at the minute. <laughs> Here's your next question for 4,000 FIFA points. Which of the following positions was Footy's Messi on FIFA 21? Was it a striker, a right wing, a cam, or a centre forward? Wait, FIFA 21 or 22? 22. 21. Last, last FIFA. It's not, it's, it's not Footy's that they randomly oh, yeah. switch positions, is it? It's shapeshifters that they do that for. Oh. No, it was Footy's too. Carbajal had a left wing last year. <laughs> mm. I was going to do that. Oh, I wish you did. I thought you, I thought you know that. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, it was a, it was a left mid that Carver Hell. That was like the, yeah, biggest like move I think. Yes, I loved it. I, I still use him at right back, mm -hmm. but for Cam it was beautiful because I just put him in at left wing. <laughs> left the mid. entire team. It was beautiful. Okay, footies. Oh yes, last year footies. That would have been like his first PSG. What card were the as options well. again? Striker. Right wing, cam, or centre forward? I feel like it would. I feel like right wing's too. It wouldn't be that one just because this regular card is like a right wing slash right mid. Mm -hmm. that's, that's an odd one because you can convert. Like cam, striker, centre forward, you can switch all them positions about to get to that position. Because him, him and Ronaldo had the two. Why don't SBCs I remember this card at all? Well, it was, it was like this time last year, so. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> His base card was a right mid. Look it out. It for was sure. footies. Right wing, I think, no? Or right team of, yeah, well, right what would have been the closest promo? They don't change it for Tots or Team of the Year or anything. I feel like Shapeshifters. Did we have Shapeshifters last year? Oh. I don't think so. I think this was, this one and there was another one that positions changed, I think, but. See, cam striker centre forward, it's like... Imagine if it's just like right mid, like they only changed it from right wing to right mid or something. Was that an option, right mid? Uh, no, well, it was right wing, uh, striker, centre cam forward. Cam seems oh, like okay. the most obvious one to change them to. But my logic is that at that time of the year, the Crazy. stats must have been like... Because I remember, what was the other one? Not the Path to mm -hmm. Glory one, the Summer Stars. Summer Star, I think, did Messi have a Summer Stars card as well? Ronaldo did, for sure. I think Messi had, like, every did. promo. But I think that because the stats would be so boosted, mm. I don't know if he'd be a cam. You know what I mean? Although maybe he was a cam. I don't know about center forward. I would say striker or cam. I would honestly mm -hmm. say striker because that's just obvious. I feel because like. But that's the audience. Then we have no more lifelines. <laughs> then we're out. What is like oh my trying to think? Shapeshifters Messi. Well. What was his position? For this year. This year. He was a centre forward this year for the shapeshifter because he had a right wing. See, I'm just trying to think, the, right? Oh, right? With like. The trend of EA is like when they do different promos, they tend to copy like the stats for the most part. So I feel like if yes. they did Messi as a uh -huh. centre forward or whatever it is, they would just sort of copy that. I mean, like, especially it's, that, I feel like that's what they do. That's it. That's a good. That was a good question to ask. We could go. So, so if we don't get this one, then we're out. Mm -hmm. So we could. Lifeline on Twitter, or go center forward. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good logic that they copy positions like over the years. Because that's what they always do for Messi, isn't it? They just 
switch. Well, they do it for every promo. Or sometimes they go left mid to right mid. Mm-hmm. Although they did <laughs> Carvajal right back to left mid, so... Oh, yeah. that, that's a bit of a... I feel like it's one of them where because you can um, convert cams to centre forwards to strikers, it could be any of them. Hmm. I think we should use our lifeline and then okay. hopefully the next question is Hopefully. Ready. Right, so we have the percentages back in. Which of the following positions was Footy's Messi on FIFA 21? Striker with 19%. Right wing with 8.6, Cam with 34.5, and centre forward with 37.9. So, what are you going to go for? It's very tight. Very tight. And I feel for this reason. Mm. To be fair, our last two options before the poll were Cam or centre forward. And they're both mm. 34 and 39. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I've had an epiphany. I don't know. I think it. My guess would have been mm -hmm. Cam or Striker. And so for that reason, my gut tells me Cam. Mm -hmm. I know center forward has more, but I think I'm, I think we're being yeah, sabotaged. Yeah, and my initial so. guess was Cam. So I think we would go with our gut. Okay. And say Cam. And if we get this wrong, we blame Peter. <laughs> Luke specifically. My Twitter, my audience. <laughs> yes. You look at in uh, Cam then? Yes. Wasn't a striker. Wasn't a right wing. And you do have the correct answer. It's Cam, well done. <laughs> wow! Uh, they really did yeah. try to sabotage us. Yeah. 3% three, three <gasps> was the difference. Six. Yeah, like, I just thought it would be good. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's one of them where they, you did remember it, of course, uh, with it being an SBC. I just thought, because most of his cards are either right wing or, a, you know, a striker. So to get a Cam card, I thought... Which of these footies cards have these face card stats? Oh, is it Havertz, Mount, Carvalho, or Depaul? I love, I love that you didn't even give, you know, a club or you know a country or even that. I've completely wiped it there. <laughs> giving you a face oh, card. Okay, Havertz, Mount. Who are the other two? Uh, Cavalero and Depaul. Something's telling me Mount, but I'm just biased to Chelsea. It gets too slow not, to be But not Havertz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm biased to yeah, Chelsea, so it's going to be Mount. I'm biased to Mount. I think it's too... I think he's too slow to be Havertz. Mm. I'm just thinking I feel physicality's like he, low. He would... Out of them three, besides yes. Havertz. Like, Mount's quite skinny, isn't he? But he's good with, like... Like, Mount tracks back a lot as well, I feel. So I feel like the defence that kind of makes sense. But I don't know much about the other two players in real life. Have you completed the Mount objective? Not yet. Oh my gosh, that's a hint. That is a hint! That's a hint! Yeah. It's very. Well, no, it, it's very. There's a card that most people. I saw Mount's card <laughs> earlier. I literally I saw it on Twitter. If I had done Mount. Two things. Number one, I feel like that mm. was a hint, and number two, I feel like that would be something that Luke would do is choose Mount because you like Mount. This is true. Yeah, because he's a This is very true. And DePaul, his physicality stats would be way more mm -hmm. than those, I feel. Because he's a... He's CDM like a... Ish. Well, I think he's a CM, but he's like... Mm. Feisty. Like, he's like... Like, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know anything about the other dude. <laughs> the other dude. Cav Cavaliero from uh, Fulham. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that stats have to be yeah. way too high. For, like, no offense. Ju I'm judging based off the fact that it's Fulham. Not saying Fulham have bad players, uh, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Havertz would be... Fa well, Havertz is faster. Mm. He's faster. I'm just thinking. Mm. I think for all of those reasons, it's Mount. Yeah, like, Mount's good at defending. Semi-good. He's good at shooting. He's quick. He's good at dribbling and he's good at passing because he has good vision. See, But you see, this I just might be in Mount mode. Do you know what I mean? I'm just biased to Mount, so my heart is like, that's Mount. I think because he said, did you do the Mount SBC? Mm -hmm. For that reason, it's Mount. 
Yeah. Is it objective? <laughs> Well, did you do the habit session? <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like it's. I feel like dribbling is a bit high for habits as well. I feel like Mont's a better dribbler and passer. I think it's. Bad. Should we lock in Mount? You lock it yes. in. I'm so confident. I'm not. It wasn't uh, the striker. Oh my god! I thought you were just about to say it wasn't Mount. <laughs> Straight off the bat. <laughs> It wasn't the pull. It's down to the uh, two Chelsea boys, one an SBC and one a objective. Obviously, Mount's a default centre mid and uh, Havertz default a cam. And you do have the correct answer. Well. Hey. I knew Havertz, it. Havertz just does 53 defending. But other than that, they're quite similar. To be fair, there's uh, one pace between them. Two Only shooting. one? Really? Uh, yeah. Mount's got four more passing. Mount's got two more dribbling. And then the physical is about the same as well, so quite similar. I don't know why they gave Havertz the SBC, even though he didn't <laughs> win the vote. Because yeah. Luis Diaz won it. Oh, yeah. So I'm a bit confused why Havertz <laughs> actually got it at the end. Yeah, that's weird. Because I chose Havertz because he's the high, highest rated fodder. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even care about the actual vote. FIFA like, mode. That's some fodder <laughs> can put into the club. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I think the fending sort of stood out for me. Because I I always mm -hmm. remember like when I watched Chelsea like Mont coming back a lot, so that's why I thought it was Mont. Yeah, you s <laughs> used to do that for Derby. The memories. <laughs> I've got a Lampard jersey behind me. It's not Derby, but Chelsea. So make the next two questions easier. Just, just for that. Other than centre forward and striker, which position is the only special card Karim Benzema has received on any FIFA Ultimate Team? Is it right mid, right wing, left wing, or left <laughs> mid? On any FIFA Ultimate Team? Any Ultimate Team. Oh my. So he's mainly had centre forward and strikers, but he's had, like, I think it's one in one of these positions. Could you give us the year? Before Leo and I started playing FIFA? Or after? Uh, before. I before 17. Spring 6. Okay. <laughs> Basically, this is like IRL kind of knowledge on Benzema and how he plays, maybe. Leah, you are always vouching for Benzema. <laughs> so wait, Go right? Wh what were the options? Uh, basically, the right side and the left side. They're the options. So right mid, right wing, left wing, left mid. That's Rather specific. Mean, but, yeah. Here's the thing. Now, oh. he plays... He is like... He does like free roam, but he does play pr pretty centrally now. Mm. Um, however, around that time, we would have still had Ronaldo, who is a left wing by trade. But given the fact that he also scored so many goals, Ronaldo, I can imagine them interchanging. You know, like if Ronaldo would carry the ball up or whatever, then he would move and go out to the left. But I'm trying to think of the goals we scored this year. I feel like Benzema still favored the right side. Mm. But sometimes the left. He's so good that he's everywhere. <laughs> It's just a Benzema. <laughs> I love Benzema. <laughs> um, it was on FIFA 14. Oh like my. Oh, come on, Luke. I want everyone <laughs> to know that I did not play FIFA 14. Or 15. I did not either. So. Um, Actually, do you know what? Do you know what would be really handy for this question is uh, Captain Tom because he did a uh, road to Real Madrid where he basically bought every, every Real Madrid card. Oh my. And I'm pretty sure he did it that year. I have a question. Can we get a special edition lifeline where we get to ask, <laughs> like Leah gets to ask a partner, I get to ask my brother, because my brother would have played FIFA 14. Yeah, Roberto would have played it as well. Do we get um, a secret? But, but, but would they really know? I think Roberto would know. Mm -hmm. That's so loot. And it's not even like, you know, a cam, a striker, it's like right wing, left mid. No, right wing, left wing. <laughs> Right mid, left yeah, maybe mid. I could have. I could have maybe thrown in a cam there or something. I don't know if he had a cam. No. 
Maybe at a camp. The thing is, in recent years, I've only ever seen Benzema play down the middle. Like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. know that far back. I'm just when ben to Like, think. young Benzema. Leah did have some good knowledge previously. Because, yeah, Ronaldo no would have been there. He would, Ronaldo was a left wing at Real mm. Madrid. They would have, but also, I mean, yeah, yeah, because Bale is like, well. Bale was right, no. Yeah, Bale's a right wing, but also he could play left wing. But his, like, it would, the, essentially it was Ronaldo, Benzema, Bale. Mm. B, B, C. Um, and that was like their out and out positions for Real Madrid. Mm. Our players are just so versatile that they can play in many positions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't clocked Leo, a Madrid fan. But. He did have Di Maria that year as well. Oh, that's true. Who is also a right wing. Like he would they have wouldn't played. have played. They wouldn't have played like an actual mm -hmm. left wing or slash left forward plus another midfielder on either side would they back then no 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 Di Maria would have uh, or did sub like he was a substitute for Bale like they were what was this 20 30 yeah that was like 14. prime BBC yeah. Yeah. yeah I was gonna say like just thinking of Madrid like briefly based off what I know that was like a very stacked squad yeah yeah mm -hmm. Di Maria is so good too though uh yeah so that's what my gut tells me but then it's like left wing or left mid. I don't know. I have no idea. But you you played basically four three three all the time, didn't you? Yeah, we still do. No lifelines at this point, so you can either take the five k or gamble with your uh, left wing punt. With some good knowledge there. Um. Okay. Well, I'll <laughs> say left wing then, and hope that my knowledge will carry. You trust enough. Oh, yeah. I always trust Leah. Wasn't a right mid or a left mid. Because obviously Real Madrid play a 4-3-3 with wingers. <laughs> so, yeah. With wingers. <laughs> obviously that year you had Bale, Di Maria, Ronaldo, and I don't know who the other one was. Oh. Don't know, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, Bale, Bale that year was a uh, default centre forward as his gold card. Oh, and, interesting. Uh, there's a lot of movement actually that year on FIFA 14 uh, that uh, Benzema did receive one of these uh, winger positions. And you do have the correct answer yeah. as left wing ball done. Yeah. Um, as you said, the uh, the knowledge of Ronaldo and Benzema interchanging, that's that's basically... Because obviously Bale and Di Maria would have had that right side yes. and then... Big brain! Left. <laughs> Big brain indeed. Question for 12. It's a 12,000 FIFA points. Where was... Meza Erzul born. Is it Germany, Turkey, Poland, or Austria? I feel like it's Turkey. Oh my gosh. I, I think it's Turkey too, but it might be. I know he shares Turkish and German nationalities. Um, I also know that there was a lot of controversy around him mm -hmm. a few years ago mm -hmm. regarding both. Um, Former Real Madrid player. What was it again? Uh -huh. Germany, Austria, Turkey, yes. and Poland. I feel like it's not Poland. No, Austria gives me like a like a ding, but I don't think so. But there's a lot of people like like. I feel like it's Turkey. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a lot of people that share nationalities that like are born, like for example, um, David Alaba is Nigerian. And He's Filipino, Filipino, but is Austrian. Uh huh. His mom's I had Filipino, no idea. Nigerian, yeah. yeah, but he. I'm pretty sure he was born in Austria. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now you have a favorite <laughs> center back. I'll do, a, I'll do a Filipino <laughs> to glory with any player. Yeah. I bet you can find a few. Mixed race. Like, there are so many, like, mm. even, f like, French players, for example, the that Spurs are Algerian, keeper. Mbappe, I'm pretty sure Benzema, Spurs. Ariola so yeah. has a bit of Filipino as well, I think. Is he Spurs? He's, no, he's West Ham, isn't he? I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I think I do remember that, actually. Mm. He's at uh, West I'm Ham. I'm feeling now. Turkey. You know, just like 
Mm. I know he's Turkish, but I think... I think it might be a situation where, like, his parents are Turkish, and he was... I think we can fully eliminate Poland, and I'm, I'm confident that we can Because it's, like, me in it, Austria in a way. Well. Like, British passport, English dad, uh-huh. Filipino mom, and then born in Singapore, like... It could be one of them when yeah. he's Austrian, yeah. when he's German, Turkish, and then born in Austria. Because he could be born anywhere, depending on circumstance. Yeah. You know, do you know Tiago Alcancera? Do you know where he was born? Brazil, no? Nope. What? Is it going to be like England or something? Oh. Do you want to guess? Out of uh, Spain, Italy, it- Brazil, or Germany? Italy. Oh, Germany. Born? Nope. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, like... well. <laughs> Wait, who <laughs> else is Brazil? There was another one, the brothers that are Brazilian. Rafinha. Rafinha's his brother, and Rafinha was actually born in Brazil, but Tiago was born in Italy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then there's another one. Jorginho mm. is Brazilian. He was born in Brazil as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so I think he's Turkish, like, by... by like, he, I think he's Turkish. Yeah, by blood. And for some reason, oh, maybe he, I'm like 85% sure. What are you going to go for? He's either, I'm like 85% sure he was born in Germany, therefore he's German. Like, that's why he's German. I don't know if he has, like, I think his bloodline could be anything, under- though. Like, I'm born maybe in Singapore, there's... but I never held the Singapore passport. Yeah, I never did. Really? Since birth, it was English, so it could be one of them as well. Like, not necessarily just because he was born in Germany, that's why he's taken the German passport. He could be born in Austria, for all we know. Because he literally could be anything. I knew someone who was born in America just because they were there on a business tri- trip, like her parents. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And then you have citizenship, America, like, yeah. immediately because That's what I mean, it's like... Nuts. I think, though, I'm, like, really nerdy when mm. it comes to knowing these things like like we're, like i'll look up people's wikipedia yeah. things all the time to see like <laughs> where they that's what i do I'm yeah <laughs> yeah to see like where they're born and what mm. like nationalities yeah. they are and mm-hmm. so i'm like very because you had the laporte knowledge last yeah time. yeah exactly yeah. the best one exactly <laughs> his grandfather yeah that's so i think that you like think it's german i'm I'm 99.9% positive. No, I'm 100. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. 85, <laughs> 100. I'm 100% positive it's not Austria or Poland. That for sure we can eliminate. It's them. just I know yeah. for sure, for sure. I mean, maybe there's something in there. Like maybe he carries a like an Austrian passport for whatever reason. You think German or Austrian? Oh yeah. I think German or Turkish, and I think he. I think I'm like almost positive. This is where we need German, the 50. 50. German, Germany. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm almost positive it's Germany. What are you gonna go for then? Can't take the six k. No, gamble it risk and it. Potentially. Yeah, risk it for the risk biscuit. It. I'm ready. Okay. I'm, I'm confident in Germany. Go on, Lee. I trust you. Wasn't Poland? Wasn't Austria? This one's for the twelve thousand FIFA points. His parents are Turkish. But he was born in Germany. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You see? Born in, uh, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Leah, for doing Wikipedia in your yes. free time. <laughs> At like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Ma- Real Madrid players, especially. Real Madrid A players, lot. I know. I like to know everything about, yeah. obviously, <laughs> except for Benzema's position <laughs> on his card in FIFA 14. <laughs> Here is your next question for 25,000 FIFA points. Marcos Jr. is the new footy Silver Star, but which of these, which of the following leagues does he play in? Is it the K League, the J League, the CSL, or the Eredivisie? You've put three Asian leagues in there, so I'm tempted it's Asian. Just to let you know, we all record this just after uh, 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, so this card's just coming. Ah, out. Pff, I haven't and even looked. Have a review. Have you read? Yeah, have you a review? Uh, have, have a look and see. No, I know that Komen came out because I saw it on Twitter, but I haven't turned on my. Ow. I mean, shoot. Sorry. You'd, Respect the silver stars. You, did, <laughs> you yeah. did China. You did China, Japan, Korea, or Netherlands. Yep. You've got three Asian leagues in there. 
So either you're trying to trick us, or it is one of the Asian leaks. That is the question. <laughs> That's the big question. I feel like it's probably Eredivisie, mm. but I don't know. So it could be any. If he's a... S- how old is he? No idea. <laughs> Because I feel like that would be an indication. Because normally the Chinese Super League for like players that are from like this side of the world, that's where they go to like not retire, but mm. towards the end of their careers. So if he's young, I don't feel like he would be in China, but he could be in Japan or Korea. Marcus Junior. Is it like Marcos? Yeah. With an O. Marcos. Yeah, I don't know. Mar- Marcos. Marcos. This is a free hit for 25k, so you got a 25% chance at least. I... And if not, what do you... if not, you take the 12k. Okay, at least we've we've got something respectable now. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got... I'm saying it's July, you barely play the game. I think you've been really well. I, I feel like Eredivisie is a good guess, but I if I wasn't to guess that, I would probably guess the J-League, but I just don't see... Mm. Like, if, like, do young talents often go to... The K League and the J League? It depends on the contracts. Like, if they are struggling out here, sure. they go out. Well, not the Japan League and the Korea Leagues are really good. But I feel like. But it's like. They have they have the foreign talent rule. Like, I'm thinking of Singapore. You used to have young foreign talent go out there because they're still playing at like a relatively high level and then if they obviously if they qualify for like the AFC Cup or like the Asian Champions League and all that they're still playing pretty high level football yeah and if you're young you get that experience well there's still a few right now that are playing in those leagues like Mm. there were a few that have come over to Europe from those leagues yeah I think I feel like Eredivisie is like a very it's an obvious answer like it could be that but Luke's throw me off having three Asian leagues in there I feel like it just makes sense mm. what are you gonna go for then but I feel like I don't know I agree three Asian leagues I need his age I, I feel like his age would be a good indication because some leagues have that like under 23 rule for like foreign talent where the foreigner has to be under a certain age mm. the way i see it though if it's a silver card it's a silver card right silver, silver stars. Yeah. i feel like be- generally speaking those players mm. are young unless it was the ones that were like pogba and and you know like all of the like yeah. baby ones I think it's a safe assumption that they're probably young if they're like mm. 70 whatever rated like 60 well not not always obviously but no i don't think it's china i also don't think it's just china. knowing what the no i think it's korea or japan i'm more inclined towards japan i would say if i was to choose a asian league i would choose japan or air divisie but mm-hmm. i will leave it up to you <laughs> Oh no. You've let, let Leah do a lot, so I think it's time for Leah uh-huh. to do <laughs> Yeah, Leah's just carried the entire hour now. No, I don't know. Oh. What are you going to go for? I'm just trying then? to think. This is where my Asian football knowledge needs to come through. I think it's Korea or Japan, I feel. If it's China, I'll be quite surprised given how the Chinese league is with like the players they get. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Korea or Japan, I think. If it's Eredivisie, which is like the most obvious answer, Might be. I will cry. It's just you've thrown me off, man. If you put like an American League or something in there, it would be a bit easier. He's young. He would have, I don't know, like with Silver Stars, do they tend to use players from like all over the place rather than stick into a certain region? I don't even know how old he is, actually. It's a silver. Oh, Japan or Korea. I'm just trying to think. Both leagues are, like, really high level as well. I'm more inclined to say the J-League. 
than the K-League. If you're going just on Asian, I would say J out of all three. But... Mm. J-League. What? Do we know what... Oh, I can't say what team he plays for, because then... I'll yeah. Be that, that'll, be, that'll be the league he plays name. in, then. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think. Be Beijing 11. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> where's that? <laughs> Is he the... Oh, you can't say regions. Can't, then none of the one is not Southeast Asia. What are you uh, going to go for then? Minus 25,000. That's why it's like even more pressure. It's not like 400. No. Oh, I'm trying to think. But if you get this wrong, you just drop back down to 12k, so it's not the end of the world. I think. China, you're right. No. Mm. If we're sticking with Asian. I don't think it's the K League. I think I would no. I would say J because I've seen talent come from J and go to J, and I've seen lots of foreigners play for J. Mm. Disregarded the Eredivisie. I also feel like Eredivisie is the obvious. Yeah, I could. I feel like it could be Eredivisie, but I would say that or J League. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I don't yeah. know if he, he put Arid DVZ in just to like, you know, for the sake of it being there, or whether it's actual yeah to throw us off, or whether it's an actual Asian league. Oh my gosh! We're gonna like lock in this then. position. I'm feeling J, just out of the three Asian leagues, J seems to be the more, the strongest answer. For Asia. You're locking that in then? <laughs> okay. I apologize in advance <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> yeah, DJ. Wasn't the CSL? I don't think we've had any uh, silver stars from the CSL. Obviously, the Eredivisie have uh, some good silvers. There's actually a player called uh, Mauro Jr. who had a uh, team of the season left back card. Oh my god. I think that was. Was that? That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, got it down to the final two uh, K or J leagues. K or J. Oh, no. And you do have the correct answer. Yay! 25,000! Go! Plays for. Uh, My Yoko. Asian knowledge coming through. <laughs> Yokohama. Let's oh, go. see, everyone everyone comes at me for saying my European knowledge is bad. That's because my Asian knowledge is just You superior. know what, good, because yeah. my gut was totally set on air divisi. I thought for sure. Mm. I, I was thought like, you'd no. take the, uh, the bait of that Maro Junior. Uh -huh. well, that's, I guess that's Maybe who I thought it was. Bad. I don't know. I thought almost like 90% yeah. it was air divisi. So here it is for, for 50,000 FIFA points. How many summer swap tokens are required to redeem the 94 plus PIM icon one of three pick? Is it 30, 32, 34, or 30? I feel like for this stage of the game, an icon wouldn't require like the highest amount of tokens. Yeah, you'd think that, but... <laughs> you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Have like, you, uh, do you, have you seen the swaps? Like rewards, basically. So it's I like can tell you tokens. that the shapeshifter pack is seventeen tokens. Mhm. Mm that's all I know. <laughs> 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 and then the eighty-five for the pack. The what? No, the pick. The pick. The pick yeah. The pick. The pick of. I'm sure I've seen one with seven for shapeshifter. I could be wrong. There were like 40 tokens, weren't there? Like, it was a lot of tokens you could get. Because I think the shapeshifter mm -hmm. pick, the like 92 plus or 93, I think it's 93 plus, is yeah. two squads. Eight mm. and five. Or, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Eight and seven. No, that doesn't make any sense either. Uh, anyway, nine and eight. <laughs> That's not the question. No. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're giving yourself your own questions. <laughs> looking at. Uh, it's, it's whether you like remember this or not at the end of so the day. So here's the thing, if we answer this, then we drop to 12. If we don't answer mm, this, we yeah. get 25. Or if we yeah. answer this, what do we get? And get correct. You get 50,000 <gasps> if it's correct. Would that be the best ever? 
Well, there are people have won it before, yes. so... How many more questions no, no. do we have after this? This one and the next one. So the next one's the last one? Yeah. I feel like, you know what, we've secured 12. Uh -huh. It's July. Uh-huh, I feel like that's good. Mm -hmm. no. At this stage of the game, if it was like team of the year, then I would be inclined to run with the 25. But I feel like we might as well just try. Gamble. Oh, well, what 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 are you leaning towards? I'm then? leaning towards 32. What about you, Alia? <laughs> Basically, whichever number you pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were the options again? 30, 32, 34, or 36. Are we allowed to know how many tokens in total you can get? If you know that information. You cannot provide that information. I can't provide that information. <laughs> no. I, I think I've given you enough information on the way. 30, 32, 34, 36. Yeah. I just know there's a lot of tokens you can get. So what do you do think? we know what the lowest one, like, you know, for like, in general from Summer Swaps? Because like normally if you claim in three or four, the 81, 20, yeah, whatever. Because normally if you claim like the highest amount, you'd be able to claim something else alongside it. Like the worst one, I think. But I feel like at the same time, it's July. What what would be higher than an Icon Moments player pick? Nothing. I feel like that would be the highest. And it's it was 90-something plus two, right? 94 plus. Yeah. So it's pretty much guaranteed like a Hullet or a Croy for Oh my something. gosh, I should do that. No, I don't have enough tokens, mm, never mind. You don't have the tokens, Leah. You, you, you're about a month late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Collecting all the tokens. I feel like 36 is too high, because then it won't allow people to do another semi-decent pack. But for that reason, I think it could be, because they don't want you to do, like, the top shapeshifter and the top icon mm. one. But 34 would block that as well, no? Because you'd have, like... Well, yeah. I don't know how many you'd have left. That's the problem. Yeah, it's true. What are you going to go for, then? Are you going to take the 25k or gamble one of these four numbers? Uh, what do you think? You choose, you choose. I trust you again. Oh, no. <laughs> you got one question right. <laughs> I don't think it's 30, if that helps. Nah, 30 is too low. 32, 34, 36. I'm... Well, I don't remember. I don't know the total amount of tokens you can get, so that's like part of the problem. Because you could do, like for example, if it's like forty or forty-five, mm. you could do this pat this SVC, mm. and then also do like an eighty-five or an eighty-four, depending on how many it is, eighty or forty or forty-five. You could do mm. like the eighty-three, whatever, or the eighty-five, whatever, as well, but. I think, if I remember correctly from the last, what was the last tokens that we did? Whatever last token situation we had, mm. you, it was really hard, like you pretty much couldn't do like two of the best packs. I feel it like it's like 34, impossible. 32. I th my gut says 30, like for 32 sticks out, mm. but so does 34 and 36. Yeah, like 36 seems like it will block you, like for sure, from any decent pack. Yeah. Especially if it's 45 tokens. Because it's a, se a season's, like, what, six weeks? So that's like 45 days. Yeah. Say they release one a day, or if they release multiple a day per season. Yeah. 36 blocks it out for sure, but I feel like it's 32 or 34. What you're locking in then? Should we go 34? Yeah, I mean it's a it's a risk in it because we don't we <laughs> neither of us have done the tokens. I feel like if we had, we would know for sure because we would have gone for the icon pack. Yeah, I well I had got like 50, like not that like 11 tokens and then mm. I took like the flatter packs and that's it. Same, same. <laughs> I feel like you get better stuff from those anyway now. Yeah. Mm. I feel yeah I feel like you know what let's just go. With Four. Okay, well, four. 34, yeah. Not options. 34, yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna. I, they don't wanna hear this. It wasn't 30. So you're right to rule that out. The total amount of tokens you can receive for summer swaps is 50. 
Oh, I feel like it's 36 now. Or was it 32? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There is a icon you can get for 40 tokens. Zinedine Zidane. Pim. Oh, for 40. Ronaldinho. It's 33 tokens. Oh no. And the 94 icon I was pick is 36. No! Oh my god! That's 12,000. Oh Damn no! It. I mean, dang it! One of them. Uh, One of them would. I think. I think maybe if you had the Zidane, I don't know. I think even even if I gave you the fifty tokens, it's still pretty. You know, there's only two tokens between each of the answers. I feel like I would have. Oh, I feel like I would have said thirty six if it was fifty, because mm. it kind of balances out. That's why I didn't give it you. <laughs> it balances out. You're like you've got fourteen tokens left. What pack can I get? Like an eighty five plus or whatever there is. Ivan Cordoba received a right back shapeshifter. But which of the following FIFA titles was his last yeah, no ever Ultimate Team card? <laughs> yeah. Was it FIFA 10, FIFA 11, FIFA 12, okay. or FIFA 13? FIFA 12. Wow. You just look, you just go for that straight away, Leo. I know, it's just I'm just going to say 11, just because it's 11. <laughs> Random guess. And Leo would have had the oh correct answer. Oh my god! So FIFA 12. Oh. <laughs> Only your two tokens oh, higher. We would have got 50. We would have had 50k. Oh yeah. my gosh. To be uh, fair, I think we did better this guess. run than we did the last run. Yeah, you didn't. You did well. Did we not? We didn't get 12k, did we last time? I don't think so. I think you did. Did we? Maybe. I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments, guys, because I can't <laughs> remember. In May, it was like yeah. Three months ago, <laughs> and I record one of these every four days. Yeah, I think we got 12. Yeah, that, it was three months ago. It was right? May, oh. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was yeah, May? when we filmed that one, yeah. Holy yeah. moly. That's gone so quick. Time flies by. Yeah, it's actually been insane. Yeah, you've done really well. I think uh, the, the knowledge of the Benzema kind, <laughs> kind of pushed you towards it, but knowing that he was a left wing uh, was good. Obviously, Ozil, knowing he was born in Germany, not I taking the I can see the comments bait. now. Um, Alia's football knowledge is awful. <laughs> Leah has great football knowledge. <laughs> no, to be fair, your Asian football knowledge was like elite. yeah, yeah, yeah. The the one on the Marcos Junior and about the ages on that 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 basically Thank got you. you the J League. That that Sorry. now backs me up whenever you know people that. that backs my Asian side. <laughs> the Asian knowledge coming. Through. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do drop a sub to uh, both of these two, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye.